is a Kangwasa dealer and I'm working for a company under the STI department. Uh, basically this is uh, those ones over there are solar dryers and they work both during day and the night and these are called silos and they are for storage of whatever you've dried from here. We started with a very small one for the students to learn. Then we went to a bigger one sponsored by the Ministry of Science and Technology. The bigger one was developed further into another bigger one. The, the first project on the silo was a four-chambered unit. A four-chambered unit for a small farmer. You can see this is a small thing. It has four outlets here and each of these outlets leads to a chamber inside here. After you have dried your product, whether here or even on the tarpaulins for the small farmers, somebody brings that product, climbs up here and puts it in the respective, uh, in the respective chamber. These four chambers here can store four different products. You could have maize here, you could have cassava here, you could have uh, millet here, you could have uh, beans here, for example. The, two, the, the, the four products don't mix. So this is very, very good for the fat, for the small farmer. And it's, it's, it's fairly well priced. Um, uh, so th this one can, can, could easily be afforded. In the current running project, okay, which is essentially an outgrowth of that one, we use the technologies there, we get the technologies there, improve on them, because improvement is a constant fact of life in, in these businesses. And now we are aiming for a one ton per day. Uh, the, the dryers are for drying both animal products and uh, crop products. For example, we've dried some meat, yeah, and then the crop products that we've dried include mushrooms, we've dried cereals like beans, we've dried cassava. Um, pineapples, purples, avocados. We dry quite a number of things here, fruits, mainly fruits, vegetables, meats, fish, and so on and so forth. And then after the drying, when the project is finished, we shall be conveying them through this roller conveyor. So we use roller conveyors. So you just put the product here and roll it. Okay? Just push it and off it goes. And then we store them in our silo for maybe using in the future. These two products here, this is a cassava, uh, and these are mushrooms. These were dried two years ago, and they are still um, good for um, they are good for consumption. They are still good for consumption. And um, then, uh, one year ago, this is jackfruit. Okay, this was dried about one year ago. Um, this is uh, this is meat, yeah? uh, spiced uh, spiced meat, which also was dried about a year ago, and they are still very good for consumption. We have a one ton per, uh, per day plant. Uh, which we are putting up and this one is intended for the parish development model. The, the point we are aiming at is that at a parish or at a community centre in the somewhere in the village, okay, either government or some NGO or some group of um, people or a serious businessman uh, who can afford it can do what? Can put up such a unit okay, and then be able to service um, the community. One of the advantages it is it accomplishes the right moisture content for the products. For example, for maize, the right moisture content for storage of maize so that it cannot be affected by aflatoxins is 13% wet basis. So this dryer helps you achieve that right moisture content and your maize will be on the standard for global market. You put in 150 kilograms of maize, say, at 24%, and get out um, about uh, 125 kilograms of maize at 12% uh, um, moisture, moisture content. And it will be okay to export it without rejections due to factors like aflatoxins. Then another thing, it takes a shorter time to dry these products. You realize drying like maize 
using the open sun drying takes about a week with factors like unpredictable weather and the rainfall every now and again. But if you're drying here, all you need is to put in, put in your product in the dryer and come after some time to check if it has achieved the right, right moisture content and you send it to the silo. But for the other ones, you need constant monitoring. Like if you're drying using open sun drying, you need constant monitoring. Someone has to be there to chase away the birds, to chase away all those rodents and what, uh, which is not the case here. Then there's also minimum contamination with our solar dryers. Uh, this, is more of, this is more like a, a bank, a bank of drying and storage. So a farmer, let's say 10 farmers bring their products today. We dry them there, we write so and so. KK has brought five kilos. Um, Moses has brought 200 kilos and so on and so forth. Then when they dry out, we, we keep a track of that and st put it straight, uh, put, put the, the, the corresponding dry weight in the silos there. Then that record is kept. When the farmer is ready to receive the product or when he, the farmer is ready to sell or to eat it or to do whatever he wants to do with it, he comes and withdraws the product from here. So you will get a clean product at the end of the day, which is dry to the right moisture content and it takes a short period with minimum supervision. This is actually a drying factory, a drying and storage what? A drying and storage factory which we have built up from scratch using our own and invented technologies. It's really interesting and nice.